Hello, hello friends. It is Jackie with Pocket of Preschool. And today I wanna show you the brand new space. And then it also has sun, moon, night and day in it. But this new um, space unit for the Little Learner Science Curriculum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the activities that it includes. And then at the end, I'll do a question and answer. That way if you guys have questions or you wanna see something again, or you wanna ask about something more, just let me know and I will answer those questions. So I know space is kind of a, kind of a, it's a tricky concept for kids. So I just want to stress that this science unit isn't about like, I just dropped stuff. It's not about memorizing the planets. It is not about like memorizing facts. It's just about exploring and learning and using those science um, tools to explore and learn new things. So in this science pack, there are planet posters and they're I call them like fun fact posters so there is a, a poster for each planet and there's fun facts about it and they actually come full page but I printed them smaller so I could hang them on the wall and then it all and then just like the other packs it comes with vocabulary cards but I only put out four so the board wouldn't be overwhelming I'll show you the other vocabulary cards that are included in just a second and again, all of these are real photos, um, except for I think the planets probably are not real photos. Some of those are probably renderings because you, we don't really have good photos of those. And some of those photos probably would be NASA's and that's probably not good for me to use. So some of the um, planet posters are renderings, but um, a lot of the other photos are real. Because I try and use real photos as much as possible. Um, so this is the one science table setup. This is kind of exploring all the planets science investigation. They're just really exploring what all is included in our solar system. So they can look at the planets and put them in order. And I, um, they are like sized appropriately. So like Jupiter is the biggest planet, sun's giant. So they're kind of looking at like the size comparison and then they can measure how big each planet is with the cube. So like they'll, they can go, okay, Venus is three cubes big. How big is Jupiter? And they can also put them in order um, from closest to Earth to farthest away. Sorry, I backed it up a little bit. And then I also have a um, science prompt that says use the magnifying glass to look closer at the planets. So that way they are comparing kind of what they look like, like how the surfaces are different and things like that. So really using those observational skills. And then um, I have journals at the table. And then here are the big posters. So there's one for each planet. There's also a fun fact sheet for the sun, a fun fact sheet for the moon, and a fun fact sheet for stars. And then here are the other vocabulary cards. So I put, when I was um, putting everything out and kind of photographing everything so you guys knew how to set it up, like I put out the night and day vocabulary cards when with the night and day um, like table. When I, I put out the moon, vocabulary cards when it was when I have like my moon table out um, and I put like the star and the constellations out um, vocabulary cards out when it was like the um, the constellation um, experiment which I will show you in just a second alrighty so another you guys like this packet's huge look at this so another fun planet and best thing or craftivity you can do is make these cutie patootie headbands um, so basically they're just noticing the planet coloring them, and you can put out the planet posters so they can color them with the correct color or not. Um, and then it's basically just this page, and then this is a sentence strip. And then they just um, glue it on. And if you have older kids, you can have them put it in order. Or maybe it's just gonna be a fine motor activity if you have younger kiddos. Um, I wanted to include some steam in there. And steam is when you add the art component to science um, and engineering. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna try and create a pan planet using oil pastels and watercolors. And here's some that my kiddos did. So he made Mercury. So you can kind of see how, and I have the little planets at the table. Um, and he kind of saw it was a whole bunch of different colors. So he made a whole bunch of different colors. And then here's another one. I wanna say this one was Neptune. So lots of blues um, in there. So that's a fun, um, activity you can put out in, um, to, to add some art and some um, engineering in there too. And then I have for you 
Um, this is the stars and constellation um, science table. Um, ex I say experiments and they're more investigations, but like here's the star page fun fact or fun fact page. And then the challenge is I have these cards so they can build the constellation just by putting the jewels on, or you can use mini erasers or the glow in the dark stars, but I, I love these things. These are the best. <laughs> you can also um, spray paint them like gold or yellow if you wanted to. And then I just put out this black mat so they can make their own constellations. Like I made a smiley face constellation. And then um, to have them at a writing and drawing piece, they can draw their constellation. Uh, my little guy made a house constellation. And then you can um, either one, one to a page or you can have four. So it's up to you. And then, so I have another, so you could do this constellation thing when you're doing camping. That would be a really fun um, science table for when you're doing a campsite. Here is the moon um, um, investigation. So you're really exploring how the moon changes um, and the different phases of the moon. So this one is an interactive chart. So they, I just use Velcro and they can put it in order. And then I do have a phases of the moon poster and the fun fact sheet. And I have a recording page if you have older kiddos. And then I have the small posters. And then they, they can use the magnifying glass and really look how they're different. Um, so that are, is the moon investigation. And then here is the night and day, which it kind of goes with um, the moon. But I wanted to do night and day separate because I know a lot of kinder teachers um, have to do night and day as part of their curriculum. So here we go. Um, there's a night and day poster. Um, I have the experiments out, which I'm sure you guys do, is where you take a ball or a globe, mark where you are, and I have a teacher page explaining this. Um, shine a flashlight on it, and you, you can talk about how that's the sun, and the part that is, um, the part, the flashlight that is the part of the earth that is bright or light is, it's daytime, and then the part on the other side that's in the shadows, it's nighttime over there. Um, so that's a really fun experiment, and I do have a night and day. That's what I made the emergent reader on, and because each of the science um, science units have a emergent reader in them, so that would be great for circle time. And then I have some sorting. Um, that way they can sort. Like, what do they do in the day? What can they do in the day or the night? And what do they do just in the night? Like during the day, you wear sunglasses. You see birds. Um, in the day and the night, you can read it the, in the day, you can also read at night, and then for at the nighttime, like you see fireworks, sleep, um, stars, it rains sometimes in the day and sometimes in the night. So there's different things you can do, and there's different like weather and um, what you see. And then there's also, you can also, if you don't like this chart, you can make these interactive charts. Again, I just put them on a piece of paper and then use Velcro. Sorry, I'm getting that spoken. Um, so they can, or you can just put these out. And then for, a, cause I know a lot of you guys have been wanting shadows and shadows is really all about the sun and sunlight. So let's just pretend that this floor is my science table. Okay, so bear with me here guys. So I would hang up the sun fun fact sheet. And then I, and I do have um, um, probably about six good read alouds. Um, if you guys need some more nonfiction read aloud so that that list is included. <clears throat> so what they're going to do is, I don't know if it's going to work because I have my studio lights on, but you just take, um, there's a shadow sketch page, and then I just found some cool objects, and I'll give you a hint. If the, if the, the taller the object is, um, the fun, or the bigger the shadow is. So they shine the flashlight on it. And they can move it closer, so you can talk about how, you know, if the sun is closer to you, the shadows are bigger. If the sun is far away, or maybe if it's setting, the shadows go away. Um, so, yes, yeah, so just by moving that flashlight, how the shadows change, and you can put in different objects. And then I would put out the, um, the shadow vocabulary card. So, and then just put, like, that poster up behind you. So, that would be a fun little shadow um, investigation. And then, cause I know y'all aren't going to remember all these things. And so here is the pack and I just put it on a book ring and I, cause I'm not a binder girl. So I have all of these real photographs of the center set up for you. And I have descriptions, um, 
That way, if you don't remember, you can just open the teacher pages and you can look for um, ideas. And then I there's labels in the pack and I just use these iris bins from um, Michael's, I think, or Amazon to put my space units in. So yeah, so this is all the goodness, y'all. Like this is, like it's a huge unit. Um, there's journal pack pages again, and there's different kinds of journal pages. And there is, um, I forgot to show you because I dropped it, <laughs> a parent note. So I'm gonna flip it around and I'll kind of kind of spread it out so you guys can see everything. I'm really shaky tonight, sorry guys. I'll just kind of go over it once more so you can see everything. So if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them in because Facebook's a tiny bit delayed. And somebody, um, Natalie, said this would be good for a light unit, and it totally would. And then, like I said, you could use some of it for different themes. Like, I know you wouldn't use it just for space. You would probably kind of put it um, in with other things. Or you could do a huge space unit and talk about the sun and the moon and day and night and all the things. Or if you do shorter themes, like most of us do, you might want to do, like, the stars during camping um, you know, things like that. Like you could do day and night when you're doing like a family theme, um, because what do you do in the day versus what do you do at night at home, at school, things like that. Do I have standards? Um, so I, to make all these units, I actually printed out, I think it was like six or seven different states. Like I print out the big ones, like New York, Texas, Georgia, Florida, Missouri, cause that's where I'm from. Um, so I printed out a bunch of the big California, um, was another one, but I printed out a lot of the, in Ohio, I printed out a lot of the, um, the bigger states, and then I also printed out the national science, um, standards, the kindergarten ones, um, and I looked at those to kind of make all the units that way I wasn't making something that was totally off topic, um, it was what you guys needed, um, so you can cover your standards, and, like, let's say, like, there's probably not a standard on, like, learning about the planets, because they're, I don't think, many have the planets in there, but there are science standards on using your observational skills and using a science tools like magnifying glass, um, measuring, comparing, contrasting. So even though it's a, the topics aren't included, the activities, um, do cover your objectives. It's more of those, um, the science inquiry skills objectives. Cause I want to, I, I, and I try to make these science units as accurate as possible. Ha all the facts are, true facts. That's not like stuff I make up. Um, so I do like research and make sure I'm using the correct terminology and all of that. So yeah. So the planets are to scale. So Elizabeth said it'd be fun to use glow in the dark stars and make a couple of constellations. I'm guessing like on the classroom wall, it just says dot, dot, dot for me. Um, so the, yeah, that would be really cool is if you would use the constellation, um, sketches they made and then put them on your walls. So yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a fabulous night and I will talk to you next time. Bye.